Okay, so how are you by the way? Good, long time! I know! I've obviously followed your work from the very beginning. We go way back. <laughs> way back, way back when and I, I just think you guys have had such an extraordinary ascent building this area world. Yeah, I guess I kind of wanted you guys to talk a bit about this building of this world that has obviously led you to being nominated for, you know, this very prestigious prize. You know, we felt this true passion for fashion when we felt like there was really something truly design driven miss, missing in clothing and even we how we approach it, it was all about um, yeah, like high fashion marketing and product or something. We really felt like there was some type of disconnection uh, with that. So I think for us, it was really about creating a world that feels very special and recognizable through eras. I think we, we've we never really changed. We've evolved, obviously, and in its essence, area is always area. It's always about glamour, especially this new notion of glamour. You And even what we even thought of what glamour was and who it was being spoken to. I think for us it was really kind of rethinking all of that and kind of repurposing it in a way. You know, the, the show at the Deutsche Bank, you know, that was really like a moment for us where everything that we learned commercially and creatively um, of what we're capable of, that kind of like came together there and we really understood how important it was um, as a collective and all together. You know, like commerce and creativity really relates to each other quite uh, mm. quite directly basically yeah the balancing the two is i think the trick that you guys have really like mastered for us it really is in the end and like i think because of all these notions of even like yeah celebrity dressing the online sphere world and like how that is evolving in a way in the end what it really like boils down to is visual communication for us you know it's really communicating visually with our consumers but viewers as well and i think what we receive back from them that's how we evolve our product you know it's really uh women speaking to us being like oh my god um this thing that you do with hair is so amazing i haven't ever seen it on me you know like and people really kind of like giving us feedback why something is special that we do and maybe that it's actually niche, how important that actually is about it, you know? But n nicheness in a way exists everywhere in the world. Yeah, you know? I, I mean, that's what we say, you know, yes, our product can be very niche, but it resonates with so many different people in yeah. so many different locations. So, you know, we actually have, you know, quite a substantial business across the entire yeah. world, you know? It's, it's really evenly split almost everywhere, which yeah. is really interesting and I think um, pretty unique, especially. And to that end, obviously, you set yourself up with a quite a challenging thing of uh, doing couture, being part of the Paris couture schedule. Yes. Can you talk a bit? And obviously, that relates to being part of this prize as well, which is traditionally speaking a very French and Parisian rooted prize. In a way, when we started looking back at our um, collections, you know, there was already like such a pure element of craft and beauty that that always kind of came through in these pieces and actually informed all our commercial decisions as well you know it really went from top to bottom down you know and um we kind of felt like this couture part that so many people already were like asking us about like where can i where can i get this we really felt like there was there was something there that um that we really wanted to explore we really wanted to showcase that um Haute Couture for us was something way more even deep, deeper and humane than, than, than a, a certain time or a certain place. And I think for us it was also kind of super important to start with this idea of like what is custom made, you know, like what can you do with a body and like why are we looking at this one singular same body all the time, you know, I think for us Couture is really about tailoring, we wanted to showcase that um, everybody deserves this high-end kind of treatment and if you even look at couture clients there you know they're a vast variety of bodies so we really wanted to um, represent this kind of energy in this collection you know showcase our craft of actually making clothes that uh, fit yeah. and yeah and i feel like it's traditionally been you know viewed as more like exclusive and i think for us it was about how can we you know make this process inclusive